Hi guys, so uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, revise um, the mixture problem unit. Uh, we did, a, a, I think, about four mixture problems in an, in an earlier video. Um, today we are going to do another mixture problem. Uh, why? Um, the reason being is um, just in case you had a technical difficulty uh, answering this problem with one variable, we are going to uh, do it with two variables. But the first time around we'll do it like uh, in, in the earlier chapter with, with one variable and then we'll do it with two. So the directions read uh, form an equation in either one or two variables and solve it to answer word problem. Ah, I need to proofread this and solve it to answer the word problem. Sorry about that. Uh, write your answer in a complete sentence. And I also forgot the word A. Write your answer in a complete sentence. Box your answer. And of, as always, uh, don't forget to define your variable. Anytime you introduce a variable, you have to define it. Because <laughs> if you don't, then the reader is not going to know what your variable represents. So for these mixture problems, we said before, um, it's very important for you to have a clear idea of what you're mixing and what the desired outcome is. Uh, and you brainstorm however you like. So from the top. Oh, where's my finger? I can't find my finger. Oh, how to use my real finger. No, it's okay. I use this pen. Uh, Panchito has two solutions available in the lab. One with 15% acid and another with 33% acid. How much of each should he mix together to obtain 120 liters of a solution that contains 21% acid? Okay, so we're working with acid here. Okay, so uh, we want to have a clear idea of what we're mixing and what the outcome is. So from the top, Panchito has two solutions available in the lab. Okay, so he has two things. One with 15% acid. Okay, that doesn't look good. Okay, I thought it did. Okay, we'll see how this goes. Okay, I don't know if that's better. How about if we just stick to pen? Okay, uh, Panchito has two solutions available in the lab. One with 15% acid and another with 33% acid. Okay, so they don't tell us how much he has of each. Uh, we just know that he has a 15% and a 33% 33% acid. Okay. How much of each should, oh, that's why we don't know. How much of each should he mix together to obtain 120 liters of a solution that contains 21% acid? So me brainstorming, I'm going to write down, I'm going to say mix 15% with 33% to get 120 or 21%. I understood myself. All right. So I'm going to say, let me go ahead. I oh, hope I don't drop anything. So we are going to write, mix a 15% acid solution, but I'm not going to write all of that. Mix 15% with the 33% to get 120 liters of an acid of an acid solution that's 21% acid. So that's me brainstorming. Mix this with this to get this much of that. Okay, if you don't like it, then don't write it. Okay, now when we uh, did the mixture problems initially, we uh, we did it like with a table and without a table. So I'm going to not quite do both solutions, but I'll set it up without the table. So without the table, I always write like container 1 plus container 2 equals mix. So we'll do that. But the containers will just look like boxes. Okay. Container 1 plus container 2 equals the mix. Okay. okay. Below each box, I'm going to put the percent, or the, in this case, it's the percent acid, so the strength. So percent acid. Okay. So our note says take a 15% acid, mix it with the 33% acid. So we have 15%. 33%. Okay, fantastic. And then the outcome or the mix uh, should be 120 liters of a 21% acid solution. So 21%. What else do I know from my thinking area? Uh, in the mix, we should have 120 liters. Uh, by now, I, I think I said it before, the units get in my way, so I'll put them on the side. I'm just going to write liters. 
Okay, so inside the boxes, we're going to put liters. Now, to answer the question, uh, not to, but yeah, what are we being asked to find? So second sentence, how much of each should he mix together to obtain 120 liters of a solution that contains 21% acid? So how much of the 15 and then how much of the 33? Okay, so uh, I'm, I'm having a crossroads. I'm going to do uh, with two variables or one variable. Oh, okay, I'm also going to do both. Okay, so first time around with one variable and second time around with two variables. Okay, so how much of the 15%? No idea. How much of the 33%? No idea. Since we're clueless on both, we can put the variable wherever we like, okay? Uh, but in this case, um, if I'm clueless on both, I like to put the variable in the first open entry. Okay, now for the, the, the question is, what would be an expression in terms of the same variable for how many liters we have the, of the second one? So it's like, well, we know that the sum is 120. If we have x and 1 to see how much we have in the other one, we're going to take that difference. So we're going to write 120 minus x, and then we define our variable. Okay, so I'm going to say where x represents, well, it's inside the liters box for the 15% acid. So I'm going to write where x represents liters of a 15% acid, and we'll leave it at that. Or if you want to put an extra word of an acid solution, I'm okay with that. Okay, and then you do your equation and that's it. I know you can knock out the question, but not all of my friends um, are comfortable with this. A lot of students really like the table uh, table solution. So we're going to go ahead and transpose this information into a table. But at this point, if you feel comfortable going straight to the equation, go for it. We, uh, we have already defined the variable, so we don't have to worry about that. But I'm gonna pretend like this table is uh this table. I'm gonna pretend like my little box model is gone and we're gonna go straight to table. Okay, so from the semi top, we already wrote down what's going on, like mix this with this to get that. So let's go ahead and set up our table. So we always leave uh, one line of space for our column headers, and then we're gonna have a few rows. So like a row for the 15%, a row for the 33% acid, and a row for the mix. So let me just write acid one. And then while I'm at it, I'll put the strength. Do you have to do this? Uh, no, because you don't even you don't even need a table. The only thing you need to do is an equation. Okay. So we have acid one, acid two. Acid two is a 33%. And then the mix. Can you label it as acid three? Yeah, you can do whatever you want. Okay. The only thing I'm gonna check is that you uh, write an equation and then you solve it. And for the mixture uh, problems, in terms of liquid, we always set them up the same. You know, like the like the overall <laughs> the overall quantities. In this case, the units is liters, and then uh, percent whatever. It will be percent acid, and then the third column, how much pure acid do we have? So column one, we have liters, so the liters of the solution, and then the uh, second column, it's gonna be the strength. Uh, we're working with acid again, so it'll be percent acid. That's not how you spell acid. And then the third column it will be uh, how much pure acid. So I'm just going to put liters of pure acid. So remember, we are doing this problem uh, two times. If you're like, nah, Ms. Torres, I'm cool with the single variable solution, then you can just uh, fast forward to the two variable solution. But it's up to you. Okay, what I'm going to fill in right now is... Uh, it's going to be the percent, and then we'll read the problem again to see what else we can fill in. So acid 1, it's a 15% acid. Acid 2 is a 33% acid solution. And then um, the mix should be 21%. Okay, what else do we know? Again, I'm pretending like I didn't write this out. Okay, we know that the mix should be 120 liters. Okay, so the mix is 120. And then same question. The question is, how much of each should he mix together to obtain 120, 120 liters of a solution and etc.? So how much of the 15% and how much of the 33%? Okay, the speech that I'm going to give you is the same one that I gave you over here. So I'm trying to uh, find these two unknown quantities. So 
if we are str if we are trying to stick with the single variable, then uh, we gotta just uh, <laughs> we have to we have to write both expressions in terms of the same variable. It's really up to you where you want to put the variable. My speech, if they're both unknown, I'll put it in the top. Because uh, the more I do things the same, the <laughs> the more than likely it will stick to me. And then my same dilemma. We know that when we add these two, the sum should give me 120. So let me just write a plus sign for dramatic effect. Okay. When we add these two, the sum should give us 120. So if I have x liters in one to see how much I have in the other, we're going to subtract. Okay, so I, if this is throwing you off, hopefully uh, a second solution will be a little bit uh, easier to digest. If you're like, no, I want to stick to one variable, then uh, I'm going to just give you an example. Let's pretend like we have, how many fingers? Three. If we had three liters in the first one to see how much we have in the second one, well, if I ask you this question, hey, if I got three here, how much should I have here? In a heartbeat, you're like, oh, 117. But you gotta uh, explain to your preschool friend, how did we get the 117? Oh, we got it by subtracting. You know, we did 120 minus the three. So in this case, to see how much we have in the 33, we're gonna take 120 minus whatever we got right here. Okay, that was a lot, cool. So now, to wrap up this table, our table has three columns. Lucky for us, we have all but one column complete. So let's go ahead and manipulate what we have to get what we need. Now, how much pure acid do we have in each one? The first one is 15% acid. So we're gonna take 15% in decimal form, just 0.15, and multiply it by the number of liters, which is X. How much pure acid do we have in the second one? Well, it's 33% acid, so we're going to take 33% in decimal form and then multiply it by the number of liters. How much pure acid do we have in the mix? Well, it's 21% acid, so we're going to take 21% and then in decimal form and multiply it by 120. Cool. So you can use a calculator to evaluate this now or you can evaluate it later. Students like to evaluate it now, so I'm going to give the people what, what they want. So I punched it in and it gives me 25.2. So we know how much pure acid is in the mix, but the question is where did this come from? So that came from the amount of pure acid in the first one plus the amount of pure acid in the second one. When we add these two, that should give us the amount of pure acid in the mix, which is 25.2 liters. So we introduced the variable, we're supposed to define it, but we define it above, so we're good. Let's go straight to the equation. <coughs> so the amount of pure acid in the first one, which is 0.15x, plus the amount of pure acid in the second one, which is 0.33 times 120 minus x, should give us the amount of pure acid in the mix, which is 25.2. Fantastic. So this is an algebra course, so your, ans your, your answer needs to be supported by your algebra. This is why in the direction says it says, give me an equation. So we have an equation, we define the variable, let's earn our full credit. So let's go ahead, bust out our calculator. When we distribute the 33% with the calculator, uh, 0.33, uh, 0.33 times 120 will give us 39.6. We keep distributing. 0.33 times the next term, namely negative x, will give us negative 0.33x. And that will give us 25.2. Let's take our time and combine those like terms. When we combine the variable terms, 0.15x minus 0.33x, I'm not going to pretend I'm going to do it in my head, but that will give us, uh, what's the calculator say, negative 0.18x, and then we're going to bring down the rest of the problem, which is plus 39.6 equals 25.2. Fantastic. This point, work your magic to isolate the variable term. To undo an addition, let's go ahead and do the opposite operation. Or if you want to show off in front of your friends, you say, hey, to undo an addition, let's go ahead and do the inverse operation. They'll be like, whoa, check you out in your fancy words. No, they're not going to be impressed. All right, so let's do this. So to uh, after we subtract 39.6 from both sides, that will give us negative 0.18x is equal to whatever the calculator says, and that gives us negative 14.4.
fantastic for the grand finale to get rid of the times negative 0.18 then i guess we divide both sides by negative 0.18 and that will give us x equals uh, what is it equal x equals 80 so something that i want to point out is this the direction says form an equation or equations and solve it so we did our equation we solved it so now at this point we can go straight to the answer which is a sentence so do what you gotta do okay so the question was how much of each of the fitting in the 33 how much of the fit how much of each where am i should he mix together well of the fitting percent According to our table and how we define the variable, let me see if I can zoom out, okay? According to the table and how we define the variable, we need x liters. And then I'll just put the units to remind me. And of the 33%, we need where am I, uh, 120 minus x. So 120 minus x liters, okay? Value of x, where am I, is 80. And then, so we have 80 of the 15, and for the 33%, 120 minus X, or 120 minus 80, that will give us 40, okay? Uh, I'll just leave it like that, okay? So the question reads, how much of each should he mix together to obtain 120 liters of a solution that contains 21% acid? So let's go ahead, write that sentence. Again, we don't speak uh, the same exact way, so I'm not expecting for our answers to look exactly the same. Um, I just write my sentence like if someone just asked me on the street. So how much of each should he mix together? That much. He should mix 80 liters of a 50% acid with 40 liters of a 33% acid. If you want to give me a story, go for it, but I'm not looking for a story. Okay, so he should mix 80 liters of a 15% acid, you can put acid solution if you like, with 40 liters of a 33% acid or acid solution. All right, fantastic. So uh, we're gonna do this problem one more time. Um, the way we did it right now is pretty much like the chapter one way or we just introduce one variable. Now we're gonna do it the chapter now way which is introduce two variables. On a quiz or test, I really don't care if you use one or two variables. Do it however you feel more comfortable. Okay, so I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna read the problem again. Well, like maybe I should, okay? So it's the same problem done again, okay? Uh, so Panchito has two solutions available in the lab. One with 15% acid and another with 33% acid. How much of each should he mix together to obtain 120 liters of a solution that contains 21% acid? The reason why we're doing the same problem is because I wanna highlight uh, the, the different ways we can attack it okay so uh yeah so let's go ahead write our speech what are we mixing and what the outcome is what the outcome is so mix a 15 percent acid with 33 percent acid to get 120 liters of a 21 percent acid like oh my stories oh my name I have to stop saying my name what you're not writing the word acid oh it's because I'm not I don't feel like it this is just like my thought process I'm brainstorming so I'm not gonna do the little box model and then and the table we're gonna go straight to the table okay so you can do the box model if you like so again uh we're doing the same problem but this time around we're gonna introduce two variables so Mix your problems, mix this with this to get that. So we have three acids, let's have three rows. Let's leave one line, one line of space for a column headers. So a row for acid one, which in this case it's the 15% one. A row for acid two, which is the 33% one. And then a row for the mix, which is uh, where am I? 21%. Okay. 
So then the first column will be like the, the units. In this case, we are working with liters. Why? Because the problem said so, 120 liters. The second one is always going to be the strength. So it's going to be the percent something. In this case, it's the percent acid. And then the third column is how much pure whatever we have. How much pure acid do we have? So we're going to write liters of pure acid. Okay, fantastic. So let's go ahead and um, put in the strengths. So the acid 1 is 15% acid. Acid 2 is 33% acid. Acid 3, or the mix, is 21% acid. Okay, what else do we know? We know that the mix should have 120 liters. Okay, so I'm going through this process fast because that's what we did uh, earlier. Okay, so now the same question. How much of the 15% and how much of the 33% do we need? I have no idea how much we need of the 15% X. Okay. I have no idea how much of the 33% acid we need. And then this is not really working for me. What if I don't? What if I think I'm going to write it wrong or something? Or I just want to do it with the second variable. So if this didn't really work for you, sticking to a... Uh, uh, writing both expressions in terms of the same variable, then you're going to be really glad that we're redoing this problem. Okay, how much of the 33% acid do we need? I have no idea, so we're going to introduce another variable. We can't write also x because then we are assuming that we need equal parts and we don't know that for a fact. Okay, everything is complete except for this third column, so let's manipulate what we have to get what we need. Okay. Uh, how much pure acid do we have in the first one? It's 15% acid, so I want to know what's 15% of x liters. So let's take 15% in decimal form, multiply that by x liters. How much pure acid do I have of the, th of the second one? Well, it's 33% acid, so let's take the decimal form, 0.33, and multiply it by, where am I, <laughs> by y liters. How much pure acid do I have in the mix? The mix is 21% acid, so it's 0.21 times 120. And again, I'm going to give the people what they want, so let's go ahead and evaluate right now. And the calculator says that that, that gives us 25.2. <coughs> Before I go to my equation, oh, once I do my equation, I get so excited and then I go straight to the solution. But I highly recommend that you define the variables now, okay? So we introduced two variables, so there are going to be two variables that we have to define. So I'm going to say where x represents, and if I do a table, I just describe the location. It's in the leaders column of the 15% acid, so I'm just going to say where x represents liters of a 15% acid or acid solution, okay? Where x represents liters of a 15% acid, okay, or acid solution, whatever works for you. Second variable, let's go ahead and define it. And uh, where X represents liters of a 15% acid and Y represents uh, liters of a 33% acid. Liters of a 33% acid. Okay, now this is something that I want to point out. So let me go back to the first solution. If you only introduce one variable, there's only one variable that you have to define. But more, more, more importantly, if you only introduce one variable, then you just need one equation and that's it. Now, if you introduce two variables, I hope you can read my mind. If you introduce two variables, then you're going to have to uh, define two variables. And guess what? You're going to need not one, but two equations. So let's do this. So the first equation is going to come from uh, how much pure acid. So we have 25.2 liters of pure acid in the mix. But where did that come from? Well, that comes from same place. The amount of pure acid in the first one plus the amount of pure acid in the second one. When we add the two, that should give us the amount of pure acid in the mix. So let's go ahead, write that equation. The amount of pure acid in the first one plus the amount of pure acid in the second one 
should equal the amount of pure acid in the mix, which is 25.2. So again, if we have two variables, <laughs> then we're going to need two equations. The second equation is going to come from the liters. We know that the mix should have 120 liters, but where did that come from? Same speech. It came from the liters of the first acid plus the liters of the second acid. Okay, The liters from the 15% plus the liters from the 33% should give us the total number of liters in the mix. Cool. Two variables, two variables defined two equations so we're good so now in this case uh, when we wrote our equations we set up a system of equations so now that we have a system we have the liberty to solve it <coughs> however we like we can solve it by substitution we can solve it by elimination to tell you the truth uh, I said it before I'm, I'm very biased towards elimination but in this case I'm gonna just solve for I'm gonna solve it by substitution because uh, I don't want to get rid of those decimals. Okay, so substitution, gentle reminder, how does that work? Pick an equation, any equation, and solve for a variable. Let's go ahead and label these equations: equation one and equation two. So I'm gonna go ahead I the second equation because we have uh, at least one variable whose coefficient is one or negative one. So let's do that. So I'm gonna look at the second equation. So look at the second equation or in short form, look at two and solve for whatever variable you like. So friendly reminder, how do we solve a system by substitution? One, pick an equation, solve for a variable, and then three, substitute that expression into the other equation you didn't use. So, which variable should we solve for x or y? You know what, that's, that's really up to you. Like, the, the coefficient on both x and y is 1. So, there's really no easy easier variable to solve for. So, I'm going to flip a coin. Pretend I flipped it. And y it is. Alright. So, look at 2 and solve for y. Okay, let's go ahead look at the second equation and solve for y. So the second equation reads x plus y equals 120 and our love note says solve for y. So let's go ahead solve for y. If you know what the y term you got to go, after we subtract x from both sides, that will give us that y equals 120 minus x. Fantastic. So I'm going to highlight it because it speaks to me. All right. So substitution, how does that work? So substitution, pick an equation, solve for a variable, and then substitute that into the other equation you, you, you didn't use. We already used the second one, so we got to plug it into the first one. So I'm trying to see uh, where do I have space. Okay. Sub into equation one. Okay. So equation one reads... 0.15x plus 0.33y equals 25.2. Okay, what are we gonna do? I'm trying to look for my highlighters, none of them work. Okay, what are we gonna do? We are gonna substitute the expression of 120 minus x for the variable y. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. So we have 0.15x plus 0.33 times y, and our expression is 120 minus x, okay. times 120 minus x, fantastic, let's bring down the rest of the problem, oh, I found my finger, look, we'll use it later, all right, so that should give us, uh, that should equal 25.2, okay, let's finish this, finish this off. So at this point, we're going to have the same exact solution. We have 0.15x plus 0.33, etc. Does that look familiar? It should. Okay, so that's the same exact equation. I can just say look at your notes and solve it, but we want to solve it again. Okay, so we have uh, 0.15x. We'll distribute the 0 0.33. 0 0.33 times 120, where am I? Gives us 39.6. And remember to pause and rewind as many times as needed. If you need to fast forward, because whatever reason, then go for it. Uh, next product, that will give us negative 0.33x. And then we'll bring down the rest of the equation. Take your time, combine like terms. When we combine the variable terms, the difference of 0.15x and 0.33x. What was that? One more time. Looking at our notes, that will 
get that gave us negative 0.18x and then we bring down the rest of the equation take your time work your magic go ahead get your a okay to isolate that variable term opposite of addition is subtraction and after we subtract 39.6 from both sides that will leave us with where am i negative 0.18x equals negative what was that again thank you negative 14.4 all right for the grand finale to get rid of the times negative 0.18 uh, let's go ahead divide both sides by negative 0.18 and when we do that gives us where am i x equals 80. i'm going to go ahead highlight it now let us look at our setup we created a system of equations in two variables. The variables that we have are x and y. So now that we found x, our mission is to find y. How are we going to do that? We're going to substitute the 80 for x into any equation of our liking. It could be the original equations. It could be the revised equations. But the one good thing about substitution, remember, is the one good thing about substitution is that you will always have an equation that's solved for the other guys. So like love yourself, plug it into here. I don't have space, so I'm going to do what I don't like. Going back to the first column, which is fine. Okay, If you have to uh, organize your work a little bit weird, the only thing I ask is if you put, please put arrows. If you don't, uh, don't pretend that I can follow your work. Okay, So let me go ahead put a love note. We're going to find the other guy. So we're going to find y. So we're going to find y by plugging it at 80 for x into whatever equation we felt like, which is this one, y equals 120 minus x. And then you know me. Anytime I'm going to substitute a number for a variable, I always write it on the side. So that gives us y equals 120 minus x, and the value of x is 80. So we found x, we found y, but remember the original problem is not a system, okay? The original problem is a word problem, so the answer needs to be in words or sentence. So the question is, how much of each should he mix together to obtain 120 liters of a solution that contains 21% acid? How much of the how much of the 15 and 33 percent? Okay, so according to our table, look a lovely finger. Okay, and I have to worry about like nail polish. Okay, according to our table and how we define the variable, we need x liters of the 15 percent and y liters of the 33 percent. X was 80, I think, and Y is 40. So he should mix 80 liters of a 15% acid with 40 liters of a 33% acid. Let's write that in a sentence and we're out. Okay. He should mix 80 liters of a, where am I, 15% acid with 40 liters of a 33% acid. Something that I want to point out is this. When we write our answer in a sentence, uh, a sent our sentences don't have to match because we speak a little bit different. But your sentence should not have uh, the variable. Like he should mix X equals 80 liters. It's like, no, no. Like if I ask you on the street, like, hey, how much acid do you need? And you're like, oh, I got it. You need X equals 80 liters. I'll be like, whoa, where'd that X come from? Okay, so we, we omit the variables. Okay, guys, that's my time. Thank you.